Everybody knows Dabo's story. Will he even get a call now? I would bet he does. But would Dabo now leave Clemson to go to Alabama? Does Alabama still want Dabo? I've read some reports where the fan base probably wouldn't be too thrilled with that, but the fans don't make the hires. In some cases, maybe if you're Tennessee, they do. But the only guy that I could see with the name that's out there that legitimately could better his situation is Kalen DeBoer at Washington. Because Washington, all things considered, is a really, really good job. I don't believe that it's at the level of Oregon because I just don't think that they have the reach and the money that Oregon has. And so if you're Kalen DeBoer, he's 49 years old. He's an offensive wizard. He's at a program that is really, really good that he just took to a national championship game. But is it top flight? That's a coach that I could see really, really considering this job and saying, hey, you know what? If they come to me, I'll bring my offensive acumen there. I can recruit, I can work the portal, and my star has never been higher. Now, Washington, similar to Oregon, is moving to the Big Ten, but Washington also got to the national championship and Oregon didn't. And so with coaches, you have to decide, look, any coach is going to tell you, first of all, if you don't think that these coaches are going to use this as leverage to get more money, Jimmy Sexton, super agent to the coaching stars, is about to get paid. And so... Alabama's list is going to be the best of the best. There's just, there's, there's no debating it, but which of those best want to leave instead of stay where they're at and build their program. And I, but look, I, Greg Byrne, he was in Arizona. He was an athletic director there and moved over to Alabama. His Nate Oates hiring in college basketball from Buffalo was under the radar. It looked how well that's worked out. Save for some off the court stuff, but it's been a great hire. And that's what we'll have to watch. You can't underestimate the effects that the Nick Saban shadow will have on this job moving forward. Coaches, they have egos. That's who they are. It's what they are. They want to be known as the best at their job at their particular school. That ain't happening at Alabama. That thing is sealed. That's why it took so long from Bear Bryant. Gene Stallings was was a Bear Bryant disciple, but that's why it took so long in between. And so this is going to be very, 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 very interesting to see where this goes. But here's what I know to be true. I am 45 years old. Saban was there for 17 years. He got hired for this job when I was doing local TV in Columbia, South Carolina. I'll never forget it. It was the Miami Dolphins head coach. Said he wasn't going to go. Hours later, he's on a tarmac in Tuscaloosa being treated like a rock star and rightfully so. And I remember sitting there doing radio at the time, and and I told my co-host, Tim Hill, I said, you watch, Nick Saban in a matter of two to three years is going to have Alabama competing for a national championship. And in year three, they won it, 2009. And then from there, it went on to be the most dominant run we've seen in college football history. And so when you look at this from a college football fan's standpoint, it's not going to sink in until there's a new coach at that podium with the Coca-Cola bottle that's never unopened. It's not going to sink in until we get to the SEC media days late summer. And it probably won't even sink in for a while when you see whoever the new coach is on the sidelines. Because as with anything, father time is undefeated. And you just never think, you think that this dominance is going to last forever. And you think that this coach is going to be around and these players and and we we said this when brian kelly took the job at lsu well, that's a good time to do it nick saban how much longer does he have you know ling kiffin and what he's building at old miss mike elko now at texas a&m how good did that job just get because now every coach in the sec most notably in the sec west they don't have to deal with nick saban anymore those jobs that just came open, LSU that, that got filled by Brian Kelly two years ago, he's won 10 wins his first couple. He didn't have to compete with Nick Saban anymore. Texas A&M. What, what's Jimbo Fisher doing right now? Jimbo Fisher's probably sitting there going, why the hell couldn't I get the Saban news while I was still at Texas A&M? This isn't to say that there's going to be a fall off at Alabama. This is to say Alabama's not going to be who they were under Nick Saban for this sustained period of time. I mean, they were 
I don't want to say falling off because they just won the SEC championship and beat the two-time defending champion in Georgia, but Georgia was the back-to-back -back national champion, and now Michigan is. It's been since 2017, since Alabama won a non-COVID title. They won it in 2020. So even Saban knew that it was getting difficult. And that's going to be one of the trends we watch now moving forward is has this become a young coach's game? 72 years old, NIL portal. Could Nick Saban have adapted? He did, and absolutely. But how much longer did he want to do it with everything going on? He'll be able to pick his career. If he wants to come do TV, do TV. If he wants to go hang out at his mansion in Palm Beach, come hang out at his mansion in Palm Beach. But it's going to be, this hiring is going to tell you about where everything is in college football because of age and everything that goes on outside of being a head coach. And so I can't wait to see where this goes. I can't wait to see who they hire. Um, I can't wait for more stories about Nick Saban to come in and really take an opportunity. And I'll end it with this. Here's how you know he was, first of all, by the way, in 17 years avoided scandal. That's a whole other show if you want to get into that. But he really is an amazing human being when you think, I'm not doing a, a victory lap. I'm not announcing today that this is going to be my final season in 24. I'm not going to get into all that garbage, which he could have. And he would have deserved every second of the accolades and adulation he'd get from television networks and rivals and, and other coaches. He just decided it was time. And that maybe he went out exactly how he coached, disciplined. I'm out. It's over. I'm going to go hang out with Miss Terry. My seven national championship rings to be regarded as one of the greatest of all time. But yesterday, truly, we don't get many of them. But uh, we're, we'll all remember where we were the day Nick Saban shocked the college football world and for better or for worse, uh, changed the landscape of what we're going to see over the next decade. Because Alabama football for the last 17 years has been the standard. And it'll be so interesting to see uh, where they go from here. When they do make a hire, we will let you know on the Matt Berry Show ESPN Cloud Football YouTube channel. We will get the great Paul Feinbaum at some point just to get his retrospective on Nick Saban. No one has perhaps worked as closely alongside him, although Paul is currently a TV star and working on a million things and has a million ass. We'll get him on at some point. But it, it look, it's why we love the sport, right? I fly from Houston to the National Championship Tuesday morning thinking, hey, all the coaching hires are done, maybe Harbaugh. I'm going to go relax at my place in West Palm and, and enjoy some sun. Yeah, Nick Saban gave me the old off-season FU and, and, and turned the sport on its side. So we'll be right here with you. It was just an amazing day in college football with Nick Saban after 17 years stepping down at Alabama. Appreciate you watching. Give us some comments. Let us know what you think. Maybe make a prediction of who's going to be the next hire. If I had to predict, if I had to predict, I would say, and look, this is all speculative, as you know. I'd say Dan Lanning says no. I'd say Steve, Steve Sarkeesian says no. I'd say Dabo Sweeney's no longer the right fit. If I had to pick today, I would think Kalen DeBoer would be the guy that's the next head coach at Alabama. If I had to choose. This is knowing nothing on the inside, but that would be my guess. And now what happens? Washington opens. Well, who gets the Washington job? That's going to open a job. And what it, We've got a lot to talk about here in the offseason on the ESPN Cod Football YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Barry. Give me something. I can't feel.